Welcome back, Vanilla Capac. What? You're all just plain orange. Oh. <laughs> it's nothing we can do about it here. We don't have a med bay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, so a few things have changed since you were last here. Um, sure. Uh, if you have a look over here. Over here? This rover has uh, grown a little. I see. It's set up solely for scrape mining. So, like, surface, scratching the surface and just picking up ice and stone. Okay. Um, so, we can uh, hopefully collect enough stuff to start filling up the tanks once you place them. Also, if you have a look on the top of our base, we currently have three turrets that I set up hastily. Uh, how do I get back up there? This isn't a turret, this is a wind turbine. Yeah, this is very clearly a turret. Oh, yep. So, they were just temporary placements. I needed to put some guns down because, well, Reavers. I've heard rumors of things such as them. Uh. Also, rock lobsters. The rock lobsters are back. Oh, no. Yeah. Where? And I they hurt when any. they punch you. Uh, what, was, what was my plan for the tanks? Uh, I don't know. I remember we talked about it last time. I don't know, but um, the plan for the thrusters at the rear was four of them. Four big ones. So those pistons will obviously go as part of that construction because they're temporary only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I believe you had a plan of putting... See where there's this kind of... Oh, yeah, the bit. thrusters were going to go on the back there. Yeah, so there were going to be two thrusters on the lower bit and then two upper thrusters as well. Because I think we're going to need four large ones to get the weight of this thing off in 1.9 Gs. Okay. So, my plan for today, while you work out that layout, is to collect resources and collect ice and get us ready to go from that point of view. Yeah? Yeah, sure. So you start laying that out, feel free to grind down whatever you need to in order to place stuff. And once you're happy with the placement, then I'll help you building it all up and welding all the piece, bits and pieces together. Oakley doakley. Yeah. Uh, but in yep. the meantime, I'm going to go collect some ice. Because our hydrogen tanks down here are not even remotely full because I was running our engines. So I'm going to turn them off. Uh, I need to get... Food and I need to retrieve all my stuff. Yes, there is food in one of the containers called food. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. I tried to make it really sensible. Uh, that doesn't. Why am I? Why am I using oxygen so fast? What do you mean? Like uh, during that time we were talking, yeah. I went down to half oxygen. Yeah. Do you not have a bottle on you? And so it's not refilling it. But that, that seems absurdly quick. It is quick on this. They've set up this server a little bit like um, Survival Impossible. Mm. You know those settings that you said you'd never play with me because you'd hate it. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Oh, uh, cap back. Yeah. Fuel low. Can I show you something? Well, where have we gone now? Come hop on, just jump on top of my rover and come with me. What, jump on top of it? I don't have a second seat. What, this rover? This does have two seats. No, this one. Oh, the mining, mining one. Because uh, I want to take this out anyway. Or you can pop a seat on it at the front somewhere if you want. The danger seat. Alright, you're the first thing to hit anything, I guess. Wow, actually, now that I'm sitting in it and we're under motion, this feels quite disconcerting. <laughs> that the thing I'm showing you is still there. Especially with my head casting a shadow in the headlights. <laughs> yep. I didn't make a GPS where it was. I'm going to search for it. Oh, there it is. Huh? I don't see anything. You don't? Oh, what the? Yeah. 
What is Someone this? Someone found us. Their name is Sky Blue. Fuel low. I ground down their survival kit. They did say I could. Oh, some something looks like it's been blown up. I think we might have shot it with our guns. Ah. <laughs> uh. So yeah. That's a thing. Well, I guess oh. we better get a move on. Yes, this is this is my slight reminder to you that we really do need to get a rig on and get stuff done. Uh, did you want to lift back? Yeah. It's quite a bumpy ride up here. Especially when we're slightly sliding into the drill holes that I make. Uh, what what's the that up on top of the hill? I don't know. Uh, what do you want to do? We well, should go investigate. On foot? Uh, well, I guess we could go on foot. Well, I don't want to risk our rover if that thing can shoot. I mean, they're not getting shot at by us, though, so maybe they're what? friendly. I don't think I got a gun. Why didn't you pick up a gun? There wasn't one in the container. Oh, well, you could make one. Also, I forgot to get food. Uh, get the food, get a gun, Hello. and then I'll meet you, and we'll form up in front of the thing. Alright? Yeah. Did you just fall in that hole? No, I just teleported a bit. Ah. G-U-N spells gun. R-I-F-L-E spells gun. Uh, it's not showing anything. You're gonna have to make one in the assembler. But I had one before. Yeah, I, I might have taken it. Oh, you gun thief. <laughs> Are you gunned up and ready to go? I couldn't find a gun. You're just using a grinder? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I can see the see a figure off to your left, Kabak. In in the rocks. Oh. Is it a Sasquatch? I don't know. Uh I think that might be a person. Um right. Uh you take point. Well, You've got to get in melee range anyway. It's more of a disc, really. <laughs> Why are they running away from us? I think they're going after... Oh, no. Oh. He's coming this way. Uh. He's red. Yeah. Uh, he, he's showing a welder. Hold on. I know what to do. And he's waving. Uh. I don't have emotes on my hopper. Ba weep, grana weep, ninny bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well played, Kavak. Well played. Okay, I think we can change to a whisper now. I think that must be Sky Blue, the same person who brought that rover. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, I can see his name tag. So if you change to a whisper, <laughs> we can have this conversation in private. Uh... Can you do a whisper again? Slash W, and then type the name. We come in peace. Oh, put your grinder away! Oh. I thought he had the space madness for a second there. <laughs> yeah, you would recognize it. Did we shoot your rover? Well, this is awkward. How so? Oh, it didn't work. What did you try and do? Wait. Hold on. You trying to use... The in-game voice chat. No, it just... Because I got that turned off. Oh, is he looking for the rover? Uh, hang on, I need a point. Uh, where's the point? Point, point. Uh, it was over that way somewhere. Uh, we can give you a... A lift. Should we give him a lift? Yeah, sure. Alright. Uh, do you want to build a matching seat? For yours? Has yours? Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, Kabak, this is the fun of playing on a server. That's public. Taking hostages. I mean, making friends. <laughs> uh, has this cockpit got oxygen in it? Yes. Good. <laughs> a bit low, are you? Just a little bit. Well, he doesn't seem ecstatic. What is that big cube on the back of it? That is an assembler. 
I think what this might have had set up was some large grid blocks so that it could get access to more stuff while still being a small grid vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, using a rotor to do the conversion. Oh well, should we should we leave him to his fate? Uh, do you do you want to inform him of that of that being our plan? Eh, he should be fine. What? No. Uh, do you need a lift back to your other vehicle? He'll run out of oxygen getting back there, unless he's got a lot of bottles. I'm running out of oxygen. We'll get back in the cockpit and refill. I filled back up to full. I'm down to 75% already. Wait, is that his other vehicle on the hill over there? I think so. Ah! Uh, what is happening? <laughs> I'm trying to type replies to Sky Blue's messages about any way to private our chat. But I don't think there's a way for him to private chat to both of us at the same time. Ah. So he could whisper to me, but not to you. But I can't type that while I'm driving. And you weren't helping me. Eh, it'll be fine. Aha, uh -huh. that's very similar to the other one. Yes, that's I imagine what the other one looked like no. before it got shot. Eh. Cunning contraption. Indeed. Well, I think we should uh, bid this gentleman adieu and get working. Uh, sure. Oh dear. What? I heard gunfire. That's not good. Uh, I don't see anything. Maybe... I had been seeing rock lobsters again, so, uh... Ah. Uh, let's wave him goodbye. Uh, wave. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, hop in your seat, and I'll drive you back. As you play drunk. Oh! There's a rock lobster drop the hill. There is? Yeah, get in. Oh, I hear the guns again. Yeah, I wonder if they're shooting at the rock lobster. Yeah, they are! Oh, oh, it's dead. Yeah, go and have a look at its corpse. Uh, well, that seems a bit morbid. Do it! Yeah. Looks like a Geo dude, but with legs. Have you looked at what he's carrying? Nothing. Nope. Oh. Uranium. Silver, uranium, gold, and wastewater. Wow, this guy was rich. Yep. Alright, hop in. Let's go. So we can get tiny little fragments of useful stuff like that from them. So, once we've got our design ready to go, and we're just doing, you know, ice runs, you can go out and hunt. Cool. There goes Sky Blue. Man, typing and driving. Bad combination. Well, that was a nice little eventful morning for us. <laughs> Oh man, you're leaving a lot of divots around the place. Yeah, I am. We made a few accidental divots and then I gave up on trying to protect the voxels around here. Alright, is there anything I can do to help you prepping this build or should I just keep collecting resources? Yeah, just collect stuff. Yeah, so from from the rock monsters, uh, which I believe are called Martin. Uh, what? Well, one of them is called Martin. No, I think they're all called Martin. Well, that's weird. <laughs> but from them, I've managed to get <laughs> 60 grams of gold, uh, 20 grams of uranium, and less than 10 grams of platinum. Okay. So not very much, but, you know, <laughs> it's something, I guess. Uh, how many tanks do you think we're going to need? I think no more than four and at least two. Alright, I've got four lined up. Okay. 
Have you figured out how they're going to line up with the thrusters on the rear? Or are the thrusters not going to line up with the tanks? Are the thrusters are uh, going to be stuck on and then we'll yeah, build they're... armor around whatever we fit. Yeah, they're not going to be lined up. I thought it might be a good idea to get the tanks more towards the interior so we can armor them better. I think that's a very good idea, Kapak. Because uh, uh, I wasn't a big fan of the tanks getting blown up on the bit of pill when that happened. <laughs> yep. Given the amount of work it's going to take to uh, drill all this ice, I think that is a very good call to protect them. Uh, what? Did you just do that? Do what? Do a War of the Worlds tripod. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did turn on all of the O2H2 gens at once. Ah. We have 9.81 kilograms of silver to make enough medical components to rebuild a survival kit. We would need. One million dollars. Uh, Twenty. Twenty million dollars. We've got nine. You got nine was... million dollars? What? I don't think we were listening to each other then. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> so yeah, we're not even halfway to being able to build a survival kit, but my plan had been to try and get one aboard our main rover so that we could ditch the one that we've currently got and just leave it down here or something like that. Unfortunately, uh. that's not an option. We're going to need to figure out a way to take it with us, or we're going to have to leave without a survival kit and risk being respawned back on the planet. But I don't think that's a viable option. I think if we did that, it would cause endless problems. So we're going to have to figure out a way to bring the survival kit with us when we go. I got about nine kilos out of Sky Blue's survival kit when I refined it. So mm. if we could get up to, say, just to give us a bit of a safety margin, 11 kilos of silver refined, then we could grind down our own one and build a new one. Uh. And chance that. Which would mean we could grind down that whole truck that's on the back. Yeah, what is... What's wrong? You know, I'm just... You know, weird... Survival kit, small cargo... Thing. Oh, right, yeah. Uh... Got a bit ahead of myself there, didn't I? Uh-oh, night's fallen on you. Sure has. Do you find it odd at all being on a public server? I find it laggy. <laughs> but do you find it like weird seeing chat? Does it like seeing people actually do stuff? It is a little odd. It's kind of nice though, isn't it? Yeah, makes me feel like there's people out there who want to murder me. <laughs> a lot of them just want to meet you, Capac. Only they're actual people rather than NPCs. Yeah, so they're more deadly. Well, mostly. Some of them aren't, though. Yeah, they want to meet me. They want to meet me and take my head home as a trophy. That sky blue guy didn't take your head home as a trophy. Well, he was at a bit of a disadvantage. <laughs> that is true. No! Whoa! Ah. Oh. It lagged as I was about to connect. Just blew up my connector in a cargo container full of ice. It also scared the rock lobsters out of me. <laughs> well said, Gavak. That was pretty funny. Tracked. Alrighty. Uh, we got two thrusters that are piped up. And built. Cool. And ready to launch. No, no. Uh, okay, this is going to be tricky. You got 30 seconds to get back here or I'm taking off without you. You're not going to get far and you're not going to take off without me. Jeez, these things look huge. The thrusters? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, they're seven and a half. They're kind of like five meters across the cone? Or is it bigger mm. than that? Uh, like seven. Well, it's each block is like two meters, two and a half. Yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, that'd be f no, that'd be like seven and a half meters. Oh, do they go the full width? Full three blocks. Yep. Wow, that is big. All right, I'm ready to go hunting. You're gonna make yourself a. L I suggest you make a little vehicle, something that can take a carry a little bit of food, a little bit of water, and can have a piped up cockpit with a vent on it, and then just a small like a medium cargo container or something. Just make something relatively cheap. Uh, it's unfortunate you can't use the one with the survival kit because that's a ready vehicle, but if you crash that, there's our survival kit gone. And I can't imagine <laughs> that you would enjoy playing a game where it is hardcore mode, where if you die, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a capac kind of game, does it? Do you need any help getting your rover done? Uh, no, I think I've got it under control. And it shall be cold. Oops, caps. No. It shall be cold. <laughs> You're also going to call something oops, caps, aren't you? <laughs> Probably should. <laughs> but I have called this one the lobster hunter. Are you going to color it? Or is it going to stay boring old grey? Uh, Which I realize is ironic as I stand here in a grey suit. Yeah, I'll probably color it at some point. Alrighty. Uh, let's roll. Oh yeah, we should have enough power. Uh, as you I notice, I already set up your wheels. See a ri Yes. Yeah, that's my unknown signal. Let's head to it. I did not set a speed limit on them, though. So don't go too that's fast. That's fine. Um, There's no such thing as too fast. Uh, you right over there? No. Writhing around on the ground? <laughs> no, I was not okay. What the I could see a timer block on that thing. I can't get a button. I got terracotta boots. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Oh man. Where's my cool boots? Well, this is entirely fruitless. Uh, if you would like, you can ditch me back at base and I'll just keep building stuff while you go hunting. I was hoping we might find a few. At the very least, if we start seeing some come, like, in the area nearby, our base. Yeah, I can go chase them down. Yeah, and you can get to their bodies before they disappear back into the soil so this thing's kind of handy anyway they came oh there's that signal yeah hey, you may as well go around and collect on your unknown signals if I don't die in an ice divot <laughs> there is that Capac huh oh Capac you built the thrusters in the wrong position no I didn't yes you did they were supposed to be moved up a block I did move them up a block. No, you didn't. They're a block too low. You always say everything's a block too low. <laughs> I do not. Oh, I'm going to have to remove them. You'd agreed to move them higher and then you just completely forgot. Mm. I'm pretty sure you're imagining things. Isn't that whole thing about the shape lines up and matches really nicely. There we go. I'm sure I put them in the right place. You didn't. Look at look at the two lower ones now. Well, I probably would have if I had like a jetpack I could use so I could actually see what I'm doing. How's that my fault? This was your idea! <laughs> you can see how the top one's too low. Nah, we should leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. We should go full asymmetrical and just have three. Oh, we can still add four and have them asymmetrical. Just plop one in the middle somewhere randomly. Uh, it'll look real weird with three, though. With four, I mean. If it's asymmetrical, it'll look weird if there's an even number of them. Well, put five in, then. Honestly, though, I don't think we should make it asymmetrical. Normally I'm for that, but I don't think there's any way to make this look interesting and balanced. Man, I should make all my vehicles like this. Like your little rover? Or like the big rover? 
Like, like the little rover. With enough space underneath that I can stand under it and work without needing to duck or jack the thing up on stilts. Uh, yeah. Does make life easier, doesn't it? Man, I hope four thrusters is enough. Enough? To get us off this planet. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, the pill was pretty heavy and it was able to fly quite happily with its two. Like, you could accelerate really quickly, couldn't you? Yeah. Even in gravity. Do you know when I started, I said, I think we should build a small vehicle to get out off this planet as soon as possible and then we can restart up in space. Yep. Yeah, that, that sounds like happen. a good plan. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I see it. I see a rocky dude. Which way? Uh, to the north. North. To the north. To the north, north. Yeah, to the north, north. Oh. You see him? Him up on top of the hill. You are. What? I see something east, northeast. Well. It's north of me. You can see it though, right? Yeah. You running to it? Yep. I thought you were going to take your rover. What was the whole idea of building it? So, yeah, but it's close. Yeah, but it's still a long run. <laughs> Isn't it? Not really. What the? That's why you should have taken your rover. You should have taken the rover. Arrgh. Why build the rover if you're not going to use it? Because it was right next to the base. But it clearly wasn't because it took you too long to get there. It, it, I didn't see you getting there either. That's because I am laid down. I'm heavily loaded up with ice. Heavily loaded up with something. <laughs> Rude. Ah. <laughs> uh. Use your rover. You built it to use it, so use it. No, I built it to look nice. Picking uh, up aliens with it is a secondary feature. Uh, so annoying. See another rock lobster. Nice. I see you driving off to it this time. Well, sort of. Get its delicious booty. Bounty? Bounty's probably what I meant. What? What standings went down? With the spiders. Uranium, stone, silver, yep. and nice. gold. How much silver did you end up with? Uh, like three kilos of ore. I have no idea how long it'll take trying to get enough with this, but I figure it's a worthwhile shot. Since it's going to take us a while to do the rest of what we need to here. Well, any silver's better than no silver. This is true. And it'd be really nice to get that survival To make kit. a nice set of silverware for eating our rations. So I had a thought. If we can get this survival kit up, we could hide the rover that had our survival kit on it. Like, just dig it into the ground somewhere. Or just yeah. park it randomly somewhere in low power mode. And we can just put a GPS to it and come back to it later when we can retrieve it. Oh, if, yeah. If we want to, that is. And that way we can accidentally respawn back on the planet. What the? What? Why does it sound like you're ruining everything while I'm away? I have no idea how this could be. But the battery that I built on this, that I added to it, says it is made by Commander Beaver. Hmm. Sounds like sabotage. It does. And I hate Beaver sabotage. Like, I placed this block myself. I, I don't understand. It's very confusing. How long can this stay like this? One day. Ah, uh, you know what? I know what the problem was. What? He probably had the wood texture selected. <sighs> That's how you get beavers. Yes. I know where you're going. 
Okay. What are you getting? I almost drove into one of your doom holes. Sure it was mine? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why? Because it was rectangular, oh. which most of the other holes on this planet are not. Yeah, fair enough. Probably mine. You know what, Kapak? If you manage to kill off a few more of those, we might actually get there. I think you might have to kill about ten. Ten? Yeah. That's not too bad. Like, I was thinking it was going to be up, up around 50 or something silly. I don't know, 10's still going to take a while at the current rate. Yeah, though, next time they spawn around us, you should be able to get all of them. Well, it depends how many of them there are. Well, I... they despawn pretty quick. Yeah, if, if they spawn around us, I might go after some. And we can both then divide up and hopefully get more. So they do seem to be worth our while. I wonder if the silver that they carry is, like, their life force, since we have to use silver in all our medical equipment. Uh. <laughs> I love how that stopped you. What is this, alchemy? <laughs> Sympathetic magic? Something like that. I was wondering why this thing was handling so funny and I didn't look at the weight. Whoa, whoa. What? Where were you shooting at? Oh, there it is. Oh, ow. I told it- I told it to stop- Whoa! That exploded. Was that an unknown signal? I have no idea. I saw something rolling down the mountain. Yeah, cause... Those rockmen don't explode. Well, let's see if I can find whatever it was. What the- Ow. Was it an unknown signal? No, uh, that was just the remains of your- Unknown signal that you didn't finish grinding down. Ah. I did see something tumbling down the mountain, though. Oh, probably went in this impossibly dark chasm. Uh, really? Chasm? Yeah. Uh. What? Okay. I think it might have been your unknown signal that was getting shot at. Yeah, that's what you, I thought you'd already decided. No, I thought it was something else, but um, when I, on closer inspection, it was all like twisted and wrecked. Like it had exploded. Oh, rock lobster! Okay. Uh, east, northeast. Which way? East, northeast. <laughs> Good job. Capac, lobster exterminator extraordinaire. 3.71 silver, 3.44 gold, and 0.25 uraniums. Well, at least it's more silver. 0 0.72 platinum. You this one didn't have any silver. Oh, no. Dang it. Had some gold, though. And some platinum and some rocks. Yeah, I mean, ultimately we're going to want gold for the um, efficiency, the yield modules for the refinery. But that requires a lot, not the kind, not the sort of volumes we're going to get from the rock monsters. Um, that's why really what we want is to get the silver, because it's, it's a small enough amount that we could actually achieve it. Hmm... Yes, we can all blame Splitzy for all the people and the game style. Well, go on, Kamak, say it in chat. The thing that amuses me about this is you can blame me for... You can probably blame me for the fact that uranium's no longer on the Earth like in vanilla. Oops. Oh well, still kind of works. Oh, was that lag or did you actually fall off? That was lag. And I fall, fell off thanks to lag. <laughs> I saw you saw your name thing fall off the side of the rover. Oh what? Whoa. Um. Well, that clanged out. These are some nice rocks you got. Hmm. Speaking of which, I need to make a blueprint of my rover. 
<laughs> you chuck. <laughs> oh. I was going so gently then. Well, however much fuel we've got is all we're getting. I am not rebuilding this thing. Well. Inevitable death. Here we come. Should I destroy it? Uh, what's left of it? A goodly chunk of it, actually. Is it still functional? No, it's upside down. So, partially. Well, I think I know how we can drive away from here now. Um, we're gonna make an engine out of some connectors and have it propel us off the planet? <laughs> No, your rover should be able to connect to the connector that I set up over here. We can lift it up. You can drive the big rover and I'll drive the survival kit. Uh, the thrusters are all done, except for the one that's uh, the connector. Cool. Well, if this thing hadn't died, I would have... Like, Energy what I would have thought low. to do was try and get those Atmo thrusters that we talked about on it. But with this yeah. rover dead... Now, probably our quickest way to get a whole lot of stone and to refine it is actually to just build a big drill rig on the side of the rover and just drill straight down into the planet. Yep. Um, but I think that might be something to do later. I'm just trying to get this thing righted so that I can offload all of its stuff without having to walk you know, 150 meters each way. Oh, I might have it past the point of no return this time. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Good thing. Doesn't sound good. Well, it's the point where it'll keep tipping even once I remove the counterweights that I've used to get it this far. Inventory full. Where its own weight will help it get back on its wheels. No, get back here. No. No! No! No, 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 no! It's running away! Come back, it's running away! Uh -huh. What's running away? The rover! Uh... Oh, it's gonna go and blow up, isn't it? Come after me! Uh, do you want to lift? Yep! Whoa! Don't oh! Just... <laughs> ah! Yeah, man. Let's go see what happened. It's still going. It's, Whoa. St it's still on its do wheels. It. It's still going. Follow those headlights. Whoa, it's miles away. Is it like, is it set to automatically drive? No, it's just gravity. It, it might survive this by some miracle. Well, I hope we survive it because I'm driving in pitch darkness here. It's still going out there. You can see it. I can't. I can. I just see blackness. Uh, Am I going a little the right, bit right way? Keep, keep going. Keep going. I forgot to put the parking brake on it. It's headed for the salmon farm. I can't see it anymore. Well, that might just mean it's out of line of sight. Yeah. It's pretty hilly. In fact, I'm kind of worried about soaring off the edge of a cliff. No, just, just keep, keep on this heading. Oh no! I see a, I see spotlights. Left. Turn left. It is spotlight. Can you see it? Straight ahead. No. Just keep true. I mean, this terrain's not too bad. A little bit more left. Whoa. Oh, I see nickel. Oh! Awesome! Uh, make a GPS? Yep. Oh, that means we can make Atmo thrusters. Oh, I see something. Yeah, it's down there. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> uh... So, here's that steep part I was worried about. Yep. Do you want me to walk down there? That's alright. I'm almost out of oxygen. Oh, is any of it left? It's but lost it's a wheel. Lost. Oh, is that front part detached? Oh no, it's still attached. It's lost another wheel and a few things from the front. But, it's drivable. Okay. Alright. Oh, that's awesome, we found nickel. <laughs> no, 
No, because all it took was your rover doing a Herbie the Love Bug. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what an ancient reference. <laughs> uh, what's that? Oh, that's one of its wheels. Oh, I thought it was a rock man. Well, it almost reattached. Uh, I, I was going to grind that down. <laughs> Well, um, people were asking for more desert wheels. <laughs> they were. So I'll bring this back to the base. Let's grind it all down. Just get rid of the whole thing. Um, then what we can do is if we can get the base mobile, we can come over to the nickel and hand mine a bunch of it while placing on a few new Atmo thrusters onto the base. Because then at least we can use the Atmo thrusters to get a bit of early lift. Uh, are we going to make some kind of detachable? Yeah, I suppose we could uh, we could put them on a bunch of merge blocks. Are they going to be thrusting downwards or thrusting forwards? I was leaning towards some forwards and most downwards. Okay. Yeah, because we've got tons of iron. I don't think we need much more cobalt to make the atmospheric thrusters. We just need lots of nickel for all the motors. So having that be the ability to go down there and grab some nickel well, should mean we can get like get that done relatively quickly. So are we going to use the atmospheric thrusters in combination with the hydrogen or are we going to use the atmospheric first and then the hydrogen? I thought atmo first then hydrogen. Okay. Would be the way to go. In that case, I've got an idea. Cool. Because I was going to say, when I get back, I'll work on grinding this thing down. Then I'll take our survival kit rover out and I'll go grab some nickel. Or maybe I'll do that first, then I'll grind this thing down. Because um, then we can start refining the nickel while I get rid of this. Uh, let me know when you see the survival kit nearby. The rover. What okay. the? <laughs> Did you shoot something? Yeah, I was trying to chat and I accidentally <laughs> fired my rifle. <laughs> Of course. Of course yeah. you did. Don't think we lost anything important. Uh, how many atmospheric thrusters do you think? I was thinking four should be enough, given how far we got with four on the agglomeration. Uh, four large ones? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how much nickel that's going to need, but I reckon we can get it. Uh, well, it's... Nickel's motors. Yeah. They are, are 1,100 motors each. How many grids are there in that? In the large Atmo thruster? 40 grids. Sorry, 40? Yeah. That's not too bad. Oh, that's what I should have done. I'm such an idiot. Why did I put all that effort into building a... Oh, you're going that way. Fine. Thought you'd pass on the left. Why would I do that? We're Australian. Um, you were saying something about how you're an idiot. <laughs> well played. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, like, I spent all that effort on making my rover miner thing work when I could have just built a dang flying one. Yeah. What's yeah? I thought I saw a giant spider. Oh. Were you looking for but sandwiches? It was it was the shadow of your rover over on that hillside. Uh, hmm. Just thinking. If we do end up needing to do any mining, I will build a flying miner. Sure. Because we know we know where iron is, we know where nickel is, we know where silicon is, which means we don't need to mine stone. The only thing that needs to be mined in bulk is ice. Well, what do you think of my thrusters? Uh, 
That's... I see two lifting thrusters. Yep. That's not going to be enough for this to lift off, I don't think. But we can check. It's probably worthwhile testing with just right. two. You said you wanted to do four. Yeah, you've only done two. Well, there are four thrusters. Yes, but only two of them are lifting. Oh, well, you didn't say that. I see how many thrusters you think we need, and you said four. Yeah, because I thought you would understand that that was in one direction. Well, nobody likes one direction. <laughs> Jeez, what are you doing to this poor rover? Grinding it down. Getting rid of it. <laughs> you appear to be doing it in the most painful way possible. Maybe. Torturing the poor rover to death. Whoa! Jeez, this thing's jumping like a jackrabbit. Oh, Kavak, watch this. Stand back. Further. Hmm. Thought that'd be bigger. You trying to blow me up? No, I, I told you to stand... I told you to stand back. How is that trying to blow you up? Trying to lull me into a false sense of security. <sighs> I do the right thing he complains. I do the wrong thing he complains. Just can't win with you, can I? Hey! Stop that! Huh? What? You're pushing me around. I didn't do nothing. You can't prove it. <laughs> Is video proof? What the? What? D did you do that? Did I do what? This divot just appeared. What divot? It, this hole in the ground, here. Where? Here, I'm standing in the middle of it. I can't see a hole in the ground. You're making There's stuff up. There's definitely a hole in the ground. There's another one over here. I can't see any holes in the ground, so either you're crazy or I am. Hmm. I mean, it's possible we both are. Space madness, they call it. Yep. We really need to get this thing off this planet. I don't feel safe here anymore. I mean, I never felt safe here, but I, I really told you, don't just, feel safe. Just make another connector. What? We'll join them together and we'll catapult the whole thing into space. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I uh, guess we could try that. So we need to get these thrusters built. We need to see if we can get enough lift from them. Or we've got to launch off a mountain like we've done with rovers in the past. Or all of the above. Yep. I look forward to attempting this. It could be entertaining. <laughs> I look forward to sitting in a passenger seat and crossing my fingers. Wait, what? You're going to let me pilot it? Yeah, I did the weird rover space launch last time. It's your turn. Oh, dear. I was looking forward to blaming you when it all went wrong. Yeah, well, I bet you were. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Alright. Well, uh, there's all that and plenty more to come. So we'll see you then, I guess. See you next time, everybody. Oh dear. No! Whoa! Oh, what? Whoa!